so here uh, in this model we'll try to uh, let us create a new model for minor axis again uh, I'll name it as new minor this will be from initial so I need to get the length of the channel section I'll check the distance uh, this face is 86 this is my 48 and the total length is this 3.04 okay so let us move to this I'll create a shell shell extrusion I'll be working in meters so I'll keep it like this one so what I'll do I'll simply first make a rectangle it's this width would be 48 is to power minus 3 and this height would be 86 is to minus 3 this is my height now I just have to delete this one so my channel section is ready it will be 3.04 length so this is my uh, model is ready now I need to get the material details so from property I just want to check the material details previously that I have used ok this is the value that I have used for elastic so for my model I will create a material elastic I will use the same value and let me check what I have used for plastic This is the data that I have used for plastic. And I did this model, I'll go mechanical plastic plasticity. I'll paste it. This is my data. So it is property definition have been completed. Uh, now I need to check one more thing. I need to check the thickness that I have assigned. I have assigned two thickness one is 19 another one is 38 so I'll just check the distance from here to here it is 1.27 okay. so I'll create partitions for this model before that I'll just create a plane datum plane three points select the three points on both ends will get a datum point now I will simply take the offset from this datum plane it will be yes it will be 1.27 so I have got the datum plane here same from here to 1.27 I have got two datum plane I will create the partition using datum plane simply select this datum plane oh, it is asking you to select the face I will select whole face select the datum plane create partition same select this face create partition so now assign the property first I will assign this part this part would be 38 mm so mm 38 name the section shell homogeneous material will be material 1 and it will be 38 to minus 3 okay. okay and now I need to assign the mid middle one and it will be 90 mm 19 shell homogeneous same it will be 90 this one minus we are working in meter so make sure here from here you select this section so both the section have been selected for to mesh meshing we can do later 
uh, I'll go to assembly, bring the shell to assembly. Here, I'll create uh, again. Oh, I'll do one more thing. Here, I'll create one or two partition more. From here to, I'll create a partition of. Uh, Let's say it would be 0 0.03 uh, 30 mm. This side it will be 30, 30 mm, 0 0.03. This is this is I am basically creating for applying support. Uh, the paper does not have clear definition of the support, so somehow I have adjusted the support length to get the data, or I would say very validated data the same results that we have got uh, now from here simply partition it same phase data pin select the phase done done now again it is asking to select the phase select the phase done select the data plane and the partition like this, this. now come to assembly now i need to rotate it to make it bending out my analysis uh, select an axis i have to rotate it about z axis so first point will be zero and next point will be x zero y zero and any point in z so my z axis is defined this is more. this is rotated now i'll simply go to interaction i will assign a reference point at this and a reference point at this now I will uh, simply constrain this res reference point and I will apply boundary condition at this reference point. Coupling, select constraint point, reference point, node region will be this and this. This is how I have constrained this face, same constraint coupling. reference point done node region this space and this so these are constant so i'll simply apply boundary condition now before boundary condition i need to get the i need to sketch so one thing i have missed uh, here i have created the loading uh, uh, whatever you call it so let us check the radius of it this will be rigid bodies that is radius would be 70 mm and uh, okay this is okay and it extrusion would be you can reduce here i have extruded 300 mm but you can reduce it we have got to simply part i'll create okay i'll have to change the model okay here i'll create rigid this will be rigid body so no need to ex uh, assign any section make it discrete rigid uh, simply make a circle of uh, these dia 70 mm dia 0.07 and simply join these two once you join it delete the top one done and i'll make it extraction of 0 0.2200 so this is done i'll partition the top uh, i'll simply partition the top face so that I can apply a reference point over here. Remember whenever you are creating reference point or whenever you are creating rigid body you have to assign a reference point from here. here. This is the reference point I have assigned. I will take this to uh, assembly. I will simply rotate it. first point will be I, I want to rotate it about y axis so first point will be 0 next will be 0 x 0 y will be some value and z will 0 90 degree rotation done and I want to place it 
what I'll do is I'll simply I have to place it at the center so placing at the center I'll do one thing I'll simply project this point to this plane now let's see whether it has uh, worked or not because I need to get a center point to project it but it is not coming uh, what I'll do I'll create a point between two points I'll create a point between these two points yeah I've got the point now I'll simply move this object from these points to here middle and same thing I'll simply copy this I need any one let's see in this direction flip it if you know the direction you can directly place it if you know the distance so let us find the distance between these two points where load will be applied it is 500 so I will simply place 0 0.0500 0 0.05 so it is placed automatically over the other point done now uh, everything is nearly done I will go to mesh I will mesh it you can mesh it individually or together so if you want to mesh it together just make go to instance make everything independent so you can mesh it in assembly now assign any mesh size that you want you can assign individually I'll make it 0 0.5 for just you know I just want to make it little finer so this will be ok now in interaction you can simply go here and uh, in step first I'll have to create a static step static general or whatever time duration you want to analyze make it 1000 or 10000 that's ok make it 0 0.01 this is by default just avoid it and make it 0 0.5 you don't have to worry about much about this make it like this next uh, go to interaction create a interaction you can go to initial and create a general contact that will do your job or you can simply come to static and create a surface to surface so surface to surface you'll have to create separately uh, let me check what i have done in other models here i have used a general contact so also here also i'll use the same general contact make sure you go to initial from here continue contact mechanical tangential behaviors assign some friction 0 0.5 and normal behavior will be hard contact select the okay. I'll just uh, I'll just check once what is the friction property that I have used here the 0 0.5 okay that's okay I'll go here new model okay so Something done, just go to load and create the boundary condition. We see left and left side. Uh, let me check with other model what boundary condition I have applied on the left side. So, on the left side, uh, this is initial, so initial does not matter whatever you do. Make sure if here uh, I have made it hinge and I have left all the rotation free and for the other boundary condition uh, just except your one all other free ok and for rigid bodies is uh, all the everything is blocked uh, 0.2 is applied so I'll go to here I'll simply go to manager I'll create left left boundary condition displacement rotation I will select the reference point done yes this is initial so 
in initial you can block everything no issue but make sure in you come to static click edit and here untick all this else everything will be fixed and next i'll again go to here i'll do the same thing i'll change to static i'll write it right then displacement rotation select the other reference point done then here i'll again do the same thing i'll block everything in initial and in static step i'll simply leave this thing. that's all and next i need to apply some displacement uh, on the loading load also make it initial displacement control select these two reference points using shift you can select both of these together block everything in initial here in a static make it minus 0 0.2 and you'll have to assign a amplitude make it amplitude at 0 0 and 1 this is so this will be always 0 1 and why this is 1 because I'm showing you if I yes, yes. if I just go to step here you see I am running it for one second duration so whatever time is here that time you will have to give in the amplitude which you have just now created this will be always the time that you have used here and this will be always 0 1 okay. so now everything is done simply go to job create a job for it I'll name anything I have six cores so I'll use six cores and submit so as soon as you submit it will take some time and you get the users it has started running so once the analysis is completed you can check the results you can check uh, here I have made the scale very high then make it one you'll get the whatever results you have 